Hello, everyone, and welcome to First 20 here on Stephen Plays. My name is Stephen George. I play video games, and every Friday it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today we're taking a look at Sparklight, which is actually uh, pretty brand new. It's pretty brand new, and this actually came to me from uh, the devs. So thank you, devs, for sending uh, sending over Sparklight. It's uh, I don't know a whole lot about this title. Um, it's apparently an action-adventure game, and I know that there is a part that you can have some level of co-op. And some people have compared it to Zelda. And I'm like, okay. It's uh, it's also very, like, steampunky is the theme. Rerouting uh, circumnavigation course around the storm. We need to get out of here. The storm is highly unusual. I'm detecting severe seismic activity on the surface. For now, we have full systems funk. Wait. Stand by. We're experiencing a strange corrosion on our hull. It looks... It looks like it's moving. Oh, no. That's a Pokemon. Quick, take out that muck with your wrench! I'm gonna beat the muck to death with my wrench. I did it. Nice work. I really like the, uh... the... the pixel art. Like, it's really, really, uh, flattering. Yikes! Hammer down that nail before this whole thing falls apart! Charge up your wrench attack. Oh. The wrench turns into a hammer. Also, I think this place is falling apart. Um, things aren't looking good, little robot friend. It's no use. We're going to have to abandon ship. Initiating escape protocol. Okay. All right, come on. Oh, no. The switch is miscalibrated! There's no time! You'll have to go without me. Please don't fret. It has truly been a pleasure serving you. Goodbye, Ada. I didn't hesitate on that. I was like, I don't know you! <laughs> and I've landed on a strange planet. Yeah, the art's beautiful. And yeah, okay, I can see the Zelda... I'm cutting grass, and I've got three hearts in the corner, so yeah, I, yeah a little bit. There's, a, there's some similarities there. What are you? I don't know, but I can't seem to get inside. Now this might get me inside. Take. Family keepsake. You recovered your family's necklace. You've had it since you were a child. The way it sparkles reminds you of twinkling stars. Oh, cute! And that's how I get in here? Apparently, my family keepsake is what gets me into this very strange looking thing. Spark Slinger. A spark-like tensioner cobbled together with spare parts from your pockets. It's a little rickety, but it'll do in a pinch. Okay, so I have my wrench slash hammer. And I also have this thing. Okay. And I just, I just shoot straight ahead. Got it. Cool. And I'm like already like into a dungeon. Okay, and I can aim if I hold down Y. So I probably have to hit all of these. Simple enough. Oh, this one's moving. Got it. <laughs> I played a game once or twice. Epiphany, Spark Slinger. You've reverse engineered the Spark Slinger. You can now assemble it in a workshop. So I had to put that down to get through the door, but now I can just make one later. Well, that was odd. Look at this little thing. Oh, Sparklight. You found a piece of Sparklight, which is also the name of the game. This is the primary currency of Geodia. I found three, and I needed to hear the message three times. I'm gonna beat this guy to death. They remind me of Paris, the Pokemon. What is this? I don't like this. This mucky. 
Hey, little guy. I bonked you. You got bonked. Ow! Dirtbag. So I can press A to dodge. Open. Hawk's widget bag. You found a widget bag. It contains some valuable looking gizmos. Someone likely wants it back. Well, unfortunately for them, they're not getting it back. So yeah, I definitely see the Zelda feels. So... Apparently you can switch to co-op. Um, let's see, what are, what are the other buttons? Seeing if they do anything. No? I don't think so. Okay. Probably will at some point. Hi, buddy! Boy, am I glad to see another person. That was quite a storm. Never seen anything like it. And those ground tremors? I was worried this whole place was going to shift out from under us. The name's Hawkins, and this is, er, was my widget shop. No way I'll be able to do business if these tremors keep up. I heard rumors of a floating city where people are taking refuge from the storms. I'd like to set up shop there, but I can't find my widget bag anywhere. It's like 20 feet. Hey, think you could help me track it down? I'll make it worth your time. I think some gremlins nicked it from me during the storm. There's a camp of gremlins southwest of here. See if you can find my widget bag. This one? Ah, you found my widget bag! To be honest, I didn't think you could handle those gremlins. Who uses a wrench as a weapon? Thanks for the widgets. Now I can head out to find this refuge place folks are talking about. I didn't forget our bargain. As a reward for bringing me my widgets, you can keep the bag. Okay, so you can hold widgets you find in the world. I'll even let you keep a few timed mines I left in there. Plant an explosive on the ground, blowing up after a short duration. If you ever make it to the floating town, come say hello! Okay, bye. <laughs> so, you can't get over there. That took a quarter heart. You can dash uh, over, like, short distances. But that's it. Can I hammer these things? Can I blow them up with a mine? Did I plant it? Have to hold it. Alright. Mine planted. Got there. Hey, little guys. Give me your spark light. Oh, this one's five. <clears throat> I think it might um, be appropriate given the circumstances. You just got a blue spark light. It's not really the same thing, but it's, it's close, close in the same vein. I'm beating these guys to death, that's for sure. Uh, so that was... Okay, I used the mine for this. There could be something cool inside. I'll use up another mine. It wasn't! It wasn't cool. It wasn't... It wasn't worth the mine. Okay, well, maybe I'll find more. There's some hearts. Sure. Got these. <laughs> Spooky. Oh. Ada, you're alive! Listen, he shouldn't be here. He's too strong for you. Who's too strong? Oh, God. Oh, no. Get out before it's too... Ah! God, the uh, the animations are beautiful. Boris, Tunneling Titan. Oh, God. We're... Okay, we're just... We're doing it. Oh, okay. We're doing this. Okay, that's not what I attack. I probably attacked Boris. I ran into that. Ouch. Oh, that's a cute little game over screen. <gasps> Did it take my mine? It took what I was carrying and dropped it. Oh, I think I was supposed to die. Stella, you're awake. Welcome aboard the refuge. It's a safe haven from the chaos on Geodia. It's also a modern marvel of technology. We've leveraged contemporary astro theory to achieve perfect energy lossless flight. We pulled you up days ago, but you've been out like a light. That Titan gave you a real beating. What were you thinking, fighting one of the Baron's foremen alone? You'd need to be in a Titan rig yourself to stop one, or at least as strong as one. Hold on. That gives me an idea. Can I see your wrench multi-tool? Yes, that's prime. Okay, this will only take me a second. Aha, it works. I've outfitted your multi-tool with a patch board. Once, uh, oh, you also need this. Bronze resilience patch increases maximum 
health by a quarter heart, equipable at the multi-tool enhancement machine in the medical facility. It's a resilience patch. You can equip it in your multi-tools patch board to survive more hits down on the surface. Remember, you can only equip patches from the multi-tool enhancement machine here in the medbay. With enough patches, maybe you can take out that foreman and rescue your robot friend you've been mumbling about in your sleep. But if you want more patches, I'm going to need more sparklight. They're powered by the stuff. The only way to get more sparklight is from the mutants and gremlins back down on the surface. If you want to go back down, speak to Cruz on the East Docks. I did good. I did good. All right, so... I can buy these things. Bronze Max Energy Patch. Resilience Patch. What is this? Kinetic Converter. That one's a little bit more. Multi-Tool Damage Patch probably increases my damage output, which seems really good. Discovered Patches. So... So I can just put that there. And then I now have a quarter of a heart. So if I bought this, I would have an extra half a heart. And what do you do? Now, that's Refuge's chief engineer. He hasn't spoken since we launched the Refuge. That's... a little weird. You can also upgrade the medical facility. So there's little upgrades that you can do. Neat. Uh, what does this do? Increases maximum stored energy by a small amount. Equip... okay. Uh, I want damage. That's what I want. Is there sparklight right outside? Because that'd be ridiculous. What a mess around here. I can't even think. I need some spark light to get my workshop back in order. These gadgets won't invent themselves. Okay. You can upgrade the construct workshop. Oh, it's a guy. I'm not much of a salesman if I can't set up shop. How am I supposed to earn a living? If you can find more spark light to power my widget shop, I'll give you widgets for free. That seems pretty good. I don't have a hundred, though. I've been collecting them. I've been working hard at that, but I don't have a hundred. Hi there. Hmm, I hear something chirping nearby, but I can't find it. Will you help me look? Chirping? Is it that, is it that creepy thing? Oh god. Wow, it's a beat! Wasn't that the happiest sound in the world? I've been searching everywhere for more beats. I can't believe you found one. It's just over there, it's chirping. Beats used to be easy to find, but the Baron's pollution makes it hard for them to get enough air to sing. And when beats can't sing, they eventually wilt and die. They've started hiding to avoid the pollution, but I'm afraid they will all die if we don't find them soon. If you find any beats during your adventure, send them here so they can sing with us. Oh, my name's Harmony, by the way, and this is my golden beat buddy, Tempo. Okay. Now she knows my name. Do you want to hear the song? Sh yes, play play me the song, please. It's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. We'll find more beats. So this... Off studying the mutations in the acid bog, Professor Corwin. And of course, how we get back down to the surface was the east, which is you. Hey there, rookie. I'm Cruz, ace navigator and pilot. When you want to disembark, talk to me and I'll ferry you from where you need to go. So are you all geared up and ready to head down for some spoils? I mean, yeah, yeah. Wahoo! Away we go! But you can't see it move. You have to trust that it went down. So... Oh, I found a beat! That was kind of fast. Didn't expect to find another one so quickly. And Sparklight. So I need 100 to get the what I presume is the damage upgrade. I didn't actually check what it did. So I can't jump up here. I have to take the little stairs. Got it. And is this... Is that how I get back up? How do I get back up? So this is my map. These are my gadgets. Okay. But I have to, I have to assemble it in the workshop. Maybe I should invest in the workshop so I get, like, tools. That seems helpful. Oh, look at these critters. Look at these critters. Oh, goodness, someone's mad. Enemies can't hurt each other, it seems. Careful. Oh, God, I'm in a pit. I'm in a pit. I'm in a pit. I can't attack that thing. Oh, God. Is it dead? It's dead. Circle around, circle around. Got it. And there's something up there, but I don't... I can't jump. 
darn. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. Guess I'm not going that way. Oh, we got moles. Whack a mole. All right, let's, uh, ooh, careful. Yeah. Uh. I've already got 94. I just don't know how to get... I don't know exactly how to, uh, get back up there yet. Took a little damage there. Oh, God. Woo! Got this guy. Whoosh! I'm at 99. 100 was definitely the number where I could start getting some major stuff done. And there it is. But I guess I'll explore. Oh, I was kind of hoping I could push him into the crevice. I need to be careful on my health here. I'm getting a little low. Although I think... I think when I die, actually, that's how I got there in the first place. I'm kind of wondering if I, if I die, I'll just wind back up there. But you probably... I would imagine you lose things when you die. I don't know. Hey there. It's been a while since I saw another person out here. The name's Margo. I'm an explorer. My brother Pogo and I were out exploring, but a quake split us up. I want to go back to the refuge, but I can't leave without knowing he's okay. Would you mind looking for him? You can give him this medallion to let him know I'm safe. The stone medallion signifies Margo is safe in her travels. Thanks. Careful while you're searching for him. These medallions have a tendency to break during the fractures. Pogo has always wanted to see him some giant vines in the Vinelands. You should check for him there. Can I break this? No, I need a mine. Oh, hey! Big nails! <laughs> I love that! Just kind of expected something to happen. <laughs> I was like, this is going to be great! Something good's going to happen from this! And the answer is no. Oh, oh, uh... <gasps> it was a secret. Oh, uh, it's another resilience patch. And again, I can't equip that until I'm back, but it would help. I'm, I only have three quarters. Enemies don't respond from map transitions, which is nice. So these guys are all going to be dead. Did I come from the right... Yes. But I can get up here. Careful, I need to be real careful. Got him. Let's see, can I get this? Survey says yes. It's more spark light. This is a 10 piece. Okay. Oh god. Careful. Careful. Oh no! I'm okay. I could be better, but <laughs> I'm okay. This is fine. I'm really, because they refer to it as run, like when I press start, it says end run. I'm really wondering if it's just, it's set up like a, uh, what, what is it? Uh, oh God, what the heck did I just discover? Where it's uh, randomly generated? And then when you die or you end run, then you just go back to the bay. So you just basically play until you die, and then those are your spoils, and then you come back and you, you know, get better. I think that seems to be how it's set up. Oh, there's another beat. Finding them pretty quickly. Uh, let's take a look at the map. And the map's not, like, gigantic. Roguelike. Thank you, Marine Vanguard. It's uh, set up like a roguelike. Okay. Okay. Oh, hi. Yar har har. Look what just washed up, mateys. It's our next contestant! What are ye waiting for? Come on down! What? Today's your lucky day! We have an exciting game for you to play here on Monty's Hall! That Monty, that's funny. I'll just need to see your crew card to get started. Stop everything. You don't have a crew card? Looks like you'll just be walking the plank. I'm just pulling your peg leg. We are happily accepting new members. Here is your brand new exclusive one-of-a-kind Monty Screw card. Guaranteed fun for all land lovers, scoundrels, and scallywags. Every time you play my game, I'll add a star to your card. Get 10 stars and I'll upgrade your crew rank. Today's game costs 10 spark light to play. Want to try your luck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wahoo! All right, here's how you play. Open one of these here chests for a chance of the big reward. Not so fast. 
Before you pick, how about I make this a bit easier? I'll open... Oh, God. No wonder you're called Monty Hall. I'll open one of the empty ones. Now, are you sure you want to open that chest? I mean, I'm pretty sure that based on the mathematics and the Monty Hall problem, I'm supposed to always choose differently. Jackpot! Monty's coin! You got one of Monty's coins. He's pillaged so much booty that he's practically giving it away. These are worth 50 spark lights. Oh, snap! I got rich! I got rich! What a blast. Well, that's it for today, folks. We'll see you next time on Monty's Hall. Can I take this one, too? No? Okay. Also, if anyone didn't understand any of that, uh, Google the Monty Hall problem. H-A-L-L. -L. Oh, but uh, that did cause enemies to respawn, and they didn't even restore my life. Darn it. But I'm alive. And I guess that's all that, uh, all that truly matters. I'm probably not going to be alive super long, but I'm currently surviving. Let's go south here. Let's see what's south. More enemies. Oh, I'm dead. When I said I probably won't be alive for long, you know, who would have who would have thought that that would have meant death immediately? <laughs> probably won't be alive long. <laughs> dead. Ooh, that was another close call. We snatched you up just before that quake. The way the world's been shifting below us is truly remarkable. It's as if it completely fractures and restructures itself. And that explains why it's a new dungeon or new world every single time. The world won't be the same next time you go to disembark for Sparklight, so be alert down there. I see. But now I have a lot of money. So I can get the damage patch. It increases hammer and wrench damage. That seems like a good one to get, so I'm going to get that. And then I'm going to put that on. And I, I earned another one of these, so I actually have extra. Cool. Oh, oh, that's a big patch. That's a big patch. I see. And then this was no longer for sale. Now, I should still have enough to invest in the workshop. The construct. Is that... Are you the one... The gadgets. Yeah, I want the ga I want a gadget. So I'm going to invest in you. There you go. I've invested in you. Oh, now you have like a whole... Wow, dang. Okay, Sparklight goes a long way. <laughs> Snap. Snap. Thanks for helping fund my tinkering, but you can't be in here if you don't know what you're doing. Only the best minds can master the art of Sparklight engineering. Just a minute. What have you got there? Is that a schematic for a spark slinger? That looks like quite an exceptional device. Using a spark like tensioner for maximum uh, kinetic energy? Why didn't I think of that? Where did you find the inspiration for this? Let me see that schematic. Are those founder's runes? How could that be? The vaults have been sealed for all of recorded history. In any event, I could learn a lot from your findings. Here, take this. Vault triangulator. This patch reveals the location of founder's vaults. It's a vault triangulator patch. Its algorithms helped us discover vault locations long ago before we gave up trying to enter them. If you find any more inspiration in those vaults, come back here to my workshop. You can use any available workbench to invent a gadget and breathe life into their schematics. And if you run out of workbenches, you can power up more by bringing me Sparklight. Now get going. I have more valuable discoveries to make. So this is how I make this, and it costs 50. So I had to invest to get to this part, but I don't have 50. But my wrench is stronger, so that's a thing. And this is not faster traveling. Give me this. But I will apply that patch that I got to find the, uh... Things. Because it's small. Neat! I like the way that this game is set up. It has Zelda feels. It, it feels like a, uh, a roguelike, because, I mean, it is. But then also, every time you die, you just return here, and it's not like you're losing progress necessarily. Like, it's like, oh, that's just supposed to happen. Death is a natural part of life, and so is resurrection. <laughs> so I've landed here, and whenever we check our map, I'm in a completely new spot. Everything's different. And... Okay. So those little diamonds are telling me, I think, where these special spots are. So if I just ignore everything and go towards... This is what I'm looking for. Aha! So, 
that's actually an extremely valuable patch because that's how I managed to get the schematics in the first place. Boom balloon. Spark like inverter backfed into a spark like rectifier. It's so volatile that it must be suspended to protect it from bumps and bruises. Safety first. All right, so now I have a new weapon. At least while I'm in here, then I'd have to craft it. So. Hmm. Can I control it? I can control it. Okay. Oh, God, it's tank controls. Yikes, wasn't expecting that. Okay. Uh, is it tank controls? Am I imagining it? Yeah, it's tank controls. Okay, be careful. Shoot. Oh, God, that's the wrong way. It's fine. It's fine. Don't kill yourself with it. Got it. Okay. Interesting. Um, that certainly makes it more difficult than just having a bomb available. Uh, okay. Again. This is basically a drone. Rounding the corner. Got it. And the next one. Careful. Got it. Not too bad. Once I, once I understood how it functioned. Uh, fun. It's one. Let's go ahead and hit this one too. And, oh, whoops. Spin that sucker around. Where are you going, buddy? Right, gotcha. And I think then I just put it back and that's how I get through. There's three stages, yep. So I put that back, it turns into the schematic. And I can take that back to the workshop to try and build it. But again, it's a boom balloon. That seems pretty impressive, and it probably takes more than just 50 to, uh, to get that, admittedly. <laughs> yeah. And that was just one? Man. So, like, in a single run, you could find tons of schematics. Like, a ton of them. Anyway. I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Sparkly is uh, really interesting. I like the way it's set up. I really like the pixel art. There's something really charming about pixel art that doesn't have the hard lines. Like, it doesn't have the outlines. I don't know why I'm drawn to that so much. Also, there's a bead in here, and I don't have any way to blow it up. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, I can't free you! You're just stuck in there! There's nothing I can do. Anyway, uh, Sparklight is available on... PC, I think maybe also Mac? Definitely PC, Xbox One, PS4, and Nintendo Switch. And uh, if you're interested in picking it up for the PC, uh, do consider using the Humble Bundle link we have on screen now or in the description box down below. And a special shout out again to the devs for sending this my way. Uh, this was fun. This is definitely fun. I like this style of game. Um, I like roguelikes, but then also, it's, it's fun to play a game that's like, when you die, that's it's not the end. It's just like, that was... You gave it your all, that was your run, and you get to try it again. And it's a really interesting way of wrapping everything up, like, thematically and story-wise. The idea of, like, oh, the Earth, or the surface, keeps, like, restructuring itself. It's really interesting. This is a game I could see myself uh, playing a lot in my free time. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week for another Stephen Plays First 20.